I have so many fond memories of being in Italy, particularly at aperitivo time. That's my favourite time when you have a little something and a glass of wine. And that little something usually was a gnocco fritto and I'm going to show you how to make them from scratch. Gnocco fritto is like a beautiful piece of bread that's super crispy and deep fried. For the flour, I'm going to be using a Tipo 00 flour. I like this because it's super fine and it's a mid protein, so it's fantastic for this particular recipe. Into the food processor, and I have a dough hook in there and a pinch of salt. And never forget the salt because it does make a big difference to the end result. You need the flavour in there. Speaking of flavour, this is completely adaptable. You can add different spices to this. You can add pepper to it, some sumac. I'm going to keep it quite traditional with the ones that I've tried and that's with some fennel seed. I've toasted whole fennel seeds and I've crushed it. It has a wonderful anise flavour and it's going to go nicely with prosciutto or some anchovies and that's what I'm going to be using today. Mm. I love that smell so much. Now for some yeast. Now what I have in this bowl is some instant yeast. This is seven grams of instant yeast. I've added a little water and some of that Tipo 00 flour and allowed it to stand for about 15 minutes in a warm spot. By doing that, you're activating the yeast and you can see that it's alive because it's all bubbly and foamy and you want it at this stage before you add it with the other ingredients. So I just want to give this flour and dry ingredients a mix first. So we'll start that, just to make sure that all the fennel and the salt is distributed evenly. We'll stop that and we'll add our yeast mixture now. And scrape down the sides because we need all of that in there. Lid goes back on and we're going to start the kneading process. So this is going to take about two to three minutes. As you can see, it's just starting to come together. So this is when I add my lukewarm water. Now you don't want to add cold water or hot water and the cold water won't activate it. So warm water or lukewarm water it is. We'll slowly drizzle that in. And for gnocco fritto, we don't add olive oil and we don't add butter but traditionally you add some lard. Now this is pork lard and it's going to give it a lovely rich flavour. So you can get this from all your supermarkets and I've just got a small amount of it and we just want to just put small little bits of the lard in as it starts to knead and this is going to incorporate into the dough. So once I've added all of that, we'll keep kneading it and once it looks like a perfectly smooth dough, it goes into a bowl and I'll just allow it to prove in a warm spot for about one hour or until it doubles in size. Okay, this has doubled in size and doesn't it look fantastic? It looks like a fluffy cloud that you just want to jump into. Okay, probably exaggerating, but this is the sad part because now we have to knock the dough back. So a little flour onto the bench and we'll just use a scraper just to scrape the dough out and you'll see that it start to shrink again, but that's okay because we are wanting to cut this into thin strips. So onto the board. A little more flour for this because it is a slightly wet dough and we'll just press it out. With a knife we're going to cut this into quarters and this is just going to make it much easier to deal with. Okay, one, two and three. And working with one piece of dough at a time, we'll get a wooden rolling pin and just roll it out. Now, if it gets a little sticky, don't worry. Just add a little more flour just to your rolling pin and to the dough. This is really rough. It's just little small morsels of crispy dough. So we don't need to be pedantic with the way it looks. So then with a sharp knife, we're going to cut them just on an angle into strips. You can cut these into any shape you like, but just have a look at how thin they are. That's what we're after. We want them to blister and crisp up in the oil. So in it goes, hot oil, 180 degrees, and you'll know that they're ready because they'll go golden brown. Well 
don't these look impressive? It almost looks like pork crackling and I just love these. So simply just in a bowl like this, allow them to poke up so everyone can see how puffy and crispy they are. And when you've got your friends coming over, serve this to them. They'll absolutely love it. Now, as I've mentioned, I love to serve these with anchovies. Get the best quality anchovies you can afford. The way I like to eat it is just grab one of these gnocco fritto and a little fork, grab an anchovy, drain it from the oil, and just pop that on top like that. All we're missing is maybe a little glass of Pinot Grigio to go with it. Mmm. Aniseed from that fennel, and then a pop of saltiness from the anchovy. That, right there, that's a little bundle of joy. I just love it.